Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. This past week, Hasbro and the Marvel Legends team went to a few different outlets to be like, hey, you know what? Show off some really cool new Marvel Legends X-Men figures. And today, they were finally like, hey, guess what? It's in an Amazon-exclusive box set. It's a Wolverine series, which is very cool. And a lot of it really does have team-building elements, maybe figures you missed, updates to figures, things of that nature, and maybe a figure we've gotten before here and there, right? But this is the most Toy Biz Hasbro box set I have seen thus far. It's all over the place, but it's got that charm to it, especially a shirtless Wolverine, right? <laughs> Yeah, that is that's a toy biz thing right there. Absolutely. But let's talk about this and we'll get into it a little bit. And just FYI, if you're interested in grabbing one, I'll have a link in the description below for Amazon. Again, it's an Amazon exclusive. So to kick it off, the Foosh, I mean, you know who the Foosh is by now. Come on. Their figure was Callisto, leader of the Morlocks or Storm is the leader and then Callisto be honest with you, I think she's a great looking figure. I like the look of Callisto. That's a cool figure to me to get, and one that's really good for a box set. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, I was kind of hoping we get more, more locks and stuff, hopefully down the line. That would be really cool. But a lot of a lot of what I know about X-Men really started with X-Men the animated series. So to see Callisto, I mean, she definitely has that look. From the animated series, more or less, she was always very punk rocker, very Sex Pistols kind of Sid Vicious kind of looking, you know, but in the female way. And it works for this type of figure, and I think that she looks awesome. So my high hopes is that they do more Morlocks. That would be very cool to see. And then, of course, shout out to Super Sorel. He got his reveal, which was, again, very cool, especially if you just got the Hellfire box set he got to reveal the jason wingard aka mastermind and it's really funny having a conversation with a lot of my friends who are marvel legends nerds and x-men it the hellfire club is weird because they all kind of look the same and then for me the names get all jumbled and i'm like is it this guy is it that guy so yeah i was right <laughs> Jason Wingard, for me, seeing X-Men the Animated Series and the animated five-part Phoenix Saga, all that kind of stuff, Jason Wingard is that really ugly-looking dude, but he makes everyone perceive him as being very, you know, handsome, good-looking, and that's the one that Jean Grey was like, yeah, we're just going to show everyone your true form. Now, it's, it goes a little bit different, of course, in the actual comics, but for me, in thinking about Jason Wingard, the mastermind, all that kind of stuff... That's where it stands out, and that's where I think the head's portraits really come in and they work well. So that's really cool to see the Mastermind, Jason Wingard, and then yet another member of the Hellfire Club. And then going over to Toying Around the next day. Also, please check out all these people. I'll have links for them uh, in the description below if you want to check out their channels. But he got to reveal the shirtless Wolverine. Now, Dwight did kind of tease this, but this was this was the full reveal. We didn't know what exactly, all that kind of stuff. He's all cut up. He's all beat up. The main thing I like is that the bottom lower half is in the brown costume, but they really did go to town on him being beaten up. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking, oh, they're going to make him excessively bloody and whatnot. No. But he does have cuts, scrapes, bruises. He's got chest hair. But nothing like, and let's just say this, if you were going to give this box set to a kid that's like, oh yeah, I like X-Men, and you, this is what the Toy Biz thing about it is, you're giving him a shirtless Wolverine, and then, oh, here's a bunch of villains, so imagine growing up years and years ago, yeah, my first Wolverine was like that shirtless Wolverine. <laughs> that's pretty funny. The head sculpts on this Wolverine, I hope it comes out looking like this, because those are, I think, the best I've seen for a Wolverine head sculpt thus far and very animated looking now if you had a little bit of blue and stuff a little bit more angular of course that'd be like animated series animated series but i like this wolverine i think he's cool and i like that they gave him a full-on blood eye you know what i mean like he just got hit so hard so that's cool i think if they had to do yet another wolverine this 
this is an oddball interesting Wolverine. I'm just gonna say that. I don't want like a box set of like shirtless X Men characters, of course. No, I don't. But you know what I mean. Like it, it's a, it's a interesting Wolverine. And then of course, shout out to annoying you with kindness. Go check out her YouTube channel. She got to show off the more upgraded Omega Red. I don't know if you could. Like, I think when I showed this picture, everyone thought the Omega Red was like huge, but it's just you know foreground background kind of thing. Keep in mind, um, it's a brighter red. Let's say different head. D same attachments, all that kind of stuff. Just mainly for me, it's just like different colors. Now, I have the previous Omega Red, which I'm happy with. But then when you see this one, this is more if you want to go that route and say like brighter color animated series. And I like that. So, I mean, I pre-ordered the box set already. But in either case, don't do too many repaints. You know what I mean? It, it's there's There's a finite number of where to go with this. I think he looks good for what he is. And then uh, Shardimus Prime, again, who needs no introduction, he got to reveal Cyber. And this was cool because I think this is a figure that he's been really looking forward to. And that's always cool to say, like, you know what? You get to reveal the figure you really wanted. So that's a nice little touch. So well done on that. And Cyber looks good. Cyber looks good. But hear me out on this. Cyber, as he was kind of drawn in the comics... It's a very interesting way, and I don't, I can't say that I necessarily agree with. It's it's looking at the art and the and the and the body type and everything else. He's very disproportionate. He's that very '90s sort of artwork. So in that sense, yeah, it's cyber. It works, but in how I think of cyber, it's a little bit different in that sense. Yeah, you can reuse the parts and everything about what they did, but it it's just always going to be like that. Maybe once in hand, I'll have a different opinion on it. But just in seeing that and going like, yeah, that's cyber. Well, yeah, that's cyber. Yeah, okay. <laughs> in either case, as much as I'm saying, yeah, I still bought it, pre-ordered it. So there you go. So that is the five pack of figures. And again, to reiterate, that is a Toy Biz pack of figures if I've ever seen one. How about a little bit more accessories maybe for cyber and the Hellfire Club? Just some extra hands, maybe a book or two. Something to that degree, because you look at Callisto and she's got knives and hands. You look at Wolverine and he's got hands. He's got the claw hands. He's got different head portraits. Yes, Mastermind comes with his two different head portraits, but, you know, it's extra. Extra things are always nice in the box. Omega Red, he comes with a bunch of stuff. And then poor Cyber, he comes with nothing. So again, and really, if you're going to do just the figure in that way, a couple extra things. That would be ideal. I know how the packouts work. I know you got to fit it on the box, but I'm just saying, get it in there. <laughs> and of course, the packaging on the box, Wolverine, very cool, very 90s on the back. Again, that that's just, when I saw the packaging, when I saw the look, when I saw the character lineup, I was like, Toy Biz, there you go. So very cool to see. I'm glad we're getting some oddball characters. Yeah, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Some sites were saying that it was going to be a retro line. You get them single carded, yada, yada. Always wait to see how these things are revealed finally, because until they have the last say, you know, it's completely up in the air. But I am curious to know what you guys think about these figures. Are they for you? Will you be picking up the box set? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything X-Men, Wolverine, which is your favorite out of the box set. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy it. Hopefully the sun's out and you have a great time with the fam or your friends, yada, yada. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.